insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site. This will be yet another video created by Renkia regarding Search Console HTTPS failing. As promised, I'm maintaining a blog post and I'll do my best in terms of answering Renkia followers from my YouTube channel. Some of the questions that's been posed, I'll answer it in this video session. As in, um, you know, could linking from my blog to an external site with HTTP result in this error in Search Console? The answer is no. Because insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site is basically the SSL on your site. And we can confidently link to non-HTTPS sites. That's not going to affect Search Console page experience reports. Okay. And another question is, you know what? Perhaps not a question, but a suggestion saying, Rankia, yeah, I followed what you've said. I've checked my hosting SSL. I have a valid certificate. So it's not expired. It's working correctly on my web server. I've checked WordPress settings to double check that my website is using HTTPS and as in the, the website address is HTTPS. I utilized the web developer tool by network tab. I've seen the header response code as to that is request URL is using HTTPS and you know, I'm still getting this error. So what's going on? Right? So um, in this video, let's go and see what else we can understand about insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site. Now it seems I can actually confidently tell you this, that this is somehow coming from historical data because just like the comment the rank your follower has made rank your website is using SSL as well and all the internal links are correct all the settings are correct all the redirections are correct that means it's going to HTTPS and yet your site is having insufficient HTTPS coverage on the site this is still showing now first thing if you made major changes and you recently installed ssl certificates then you can confidently sit back perhaps for a week and then double check but if you haven't and you've been operating online and you didn't have any problems and now insufficient https coverage on your site and we're scratching our heads thinking well why is that google you're not kind of giving us any information here and what you're telling us in terms of check the performance tab you know evaluate the filters for pages and look for hash you know, urls containing http version to see you know what what urls are there on my site and you don't show me any data here and then you're leaving um search console users confused well that's not good enough right so now let's go and see what else we can do let's press on coverage okay that's fixed here this is another area you may be able to explore to see okay you know what is there any urls google is picking up because somehow the insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site I believe is coming from historical data. Perhaps, you know, two years ago, my website was not using SSL. So I had just HTTP version of the URLs, right? So it seems that Search Console is picking them up, picking them up. So what you can do, you can press on coverage reports. You can explore, let's imagine the valid URLs, right? Let's do this. Um, submitted and indexed let's go and see what URLs are submitted and here we can see it's all HTTPS right so we can see there is other um, result sets so we can explore other ones 
we can inspect the URL for any URL to see, okay, you know what? Show me what you're seeing from your data, Google, right? So it's submitted and indexed, and this is the URL that Google is aware of, right? So index coverage report may be an option for you to then dive in and look at excluded. Let's press on that and say to ourselves, okay, you know what? Let's go and see page with redirect because I think that's an important point for us to check when we're analyzing insufficient HTTPS coverage on our site message, right? Because if we end up having pages with redirection, because here we may be able to see versions that is non-HTTPS, if that makes sense. So that's an area for you to triple check to say, okay, you know what? Is there any web pages that is using redirection? If so, are they using the HTTP version? So you can triple check that area. Perhaps that may be of interest to you. Perhaps that may guide you as to say, hmm, you know what? Yes, I do have a 301 redirection. Perhaps you've forgotten it. Yeah, you know, once upon a time, perhaps you've created 301, but you end up using somehow you end up using the HTTP version and then you have redirected that. So that could happen. Where you can check that, you can check that in your cPanel redirection menu option. Or if you're utilizing, let's say, .htaccess file for redirection, you can triple check 301 redirections in that file. If you're using popular content management systems, they usually do provide um, plugins for do for 301 redirection. If that's the case, you wanna then maybe triple check that to say, you know what, do I have HTTP uh, redirection happening on my site? If so, then obviously you need to remedy that. Okay, so you know, as promised to rank your fans, insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site, blog post will be maintained and I'll do my best to find the, the, the correct answer. But right now I can only um, you know, advise you or perhaps guide you as to making sure that everything is using SSL on your site. Right, so let's wrap it up once again. Page experience, HTTPS failing, report and well, all these will be maintained on Rank Your YouTube channel, right? But this particular video is about HTTPS. So you know where to look because I've created the video sessions for that. And in this video session, what I've done is said to you, okay, let's press on coverage reports, look at what's valid, double check, submit an indexed URL, because now we know these are within Google search results. And in fact, these are the URLs Google page experience should be evaluating to show us this. Well, right now it should be all good because as you can see, these are the URLs that submitted to Google and it's indexed by Google. So these are the URLs Google should be evaluating my website for. And here I can say, okay, you know what? Let me do a page search to see, is there any URLs that's using HTTP? And here, as you can see, there is none. The next part, we can go to coverage and press on excluded. And now say to ourselves, okay, you know what? Are there any pages with redirection? But remember, at this moment, when we look at the excluded tab, all what's shown here is excluded. That means it's not in Google's index anyway. That means Google should not be evaluating our website through the excluded URLs anyway. But if you press on excluded URLs, page with redirection, it may give you an insight as to say, hmm, as you can see here, there is a URL that has HTTP version. So now I can say, okay, you know what? I know that's not in Google, but 
is it excluded because I have 3 i one redirection? Make sense? And if so, then I need to remedy that. So that's another, another area to double check. Now I'm testing a few things on a WordPress site using .htaccess file. In the previous video session, I've shown a sample code for you to perhaps check your web hosting service provider as to how you can redirect the URLs to the correct HTTPS version. So right now I'm using this. It seems that it's not working because page experience is still complaining. Now I thought, okay, you know what? Let me now test something else. So I'm now testing port 80. I know that shouldn't make any difference, but it could be somehow to do with my web server. So I'm triple checking things. I'll actually make this particular code available for you to also check on your site if it's built on Apache servers. We're looking at .htaccess file, okay? So once again, whether you have seen this video on Rank Your YouTube channel or Rank Your Blog, keep in mind, insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site error message will be maintained on Rank Your Blog. And you know what, at the end of the day, another question was asked saying, okay, insufficient HTTPS failing, does that affect our Google rankings? I'll show you a way to triple check your rankings. And that is you press on performance tab, then um, let's press on average position and let's just leave clicks in place. And now we can filter whether it's date ranges, let's say last 28 days or last six months. So you can put that in there, date ranges. You can actually compare date ranges or where are we? Yeah, okay, we have to compare rankings, right? So let's do this now. Triple making sure that are we losing rankings because HTTPS is failing. So this is a way for you to glimpse at that. So you, let's compare last three months to previous three months period. Let's do comparison. Let's apply changes as in the filter. Now we can look at the chart and also the details shown here because we are filtering the position to the clicks within three month range. So if you end up seeing big deep, um, deep dive, then it's obvious that something is wrong, right? But from my understanding right now, page experience on mobile is still in the process of Google guiding website owners saying, you know what, soon we're gonna make major changes and page experience on mobile report will affect rankings drastically. From my understanding, that's where Google is heading. So currently I don't believe I'm losing any rank, but I can triple check that to keep things you know, under control, so to speak, because we know HTTPS is a ranking signal. Makes sense, but at the end of the day, if you're sure that everything is using HTTPS, then perhaps this could actually be a historical data that Google is showing. Perhaps Google Search Console team will remedy this and we won't see this. As in, if everything is checked, everything is okay, we have the SSL certificate, then Search Console shouldn't be complaining for the URLs that's indexed. At the end of the day, it can be confusing if you're not familiar with certain things, but nonetheless, Ranky's mission is to simplify technology. And I thank you very much for learning with Rankia. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.